Hi everybody, this is me again, Belly Goes So Pregnant, coming to you on YouTube or if you're watching this on the website, hello, or any other platform, maybe somebody shared it to you, hello. Um, I'm a little disturbed, so excuse me, but um, I just want to come and just kind of update you guys on what's going on. Um, yes, I did my last video I did talk a little bit about checking up on the hospital so this video it's more extension of um, why so a lot of the major cities um, especially like New York City um, some parts of New Jersey um, and some other places have it where the moms um, can only have either her doula or her birth partner, um, the baby daddy, uh, the father of the baby, or let's say if she doesn't have a doula, but she has a mom and she has the father of the baby. Now they have to choose one or the other, sadly to say. Um, if you have other children, they are not able to come up and visit because I know some of y'all have in your birth plans, like um, your children are in your birth plan, maybe um, one of the kids are going to cut the cord or um, just be there to experience, you know, what labor is all about as a life lesson. Um, but that can no longer happen. Um, I'm not sure how long that's going to be. My predictions will probably be somewhere in the fall, uh, like August, September, even though some states are having um, May as like uh, the cutoff when all this will be okay. But it's, it's, I can't even say exactly what they're going to do, but I'm just here to prepare you. Also, with you just choosing one person, um, that one person can stay with you up until you have the baby. After the baby is born, then whoever you chose to be a birth partner, whether it's the baby's father, um, your husband, your boyfriend, your mother, your auntie, your sister, a doula, um, those people have to go. So when you are actually rolled in to recover in your postpartum, and this goes for natural labor, meaning vaginal labor, or cesarean section. So either way, they're still going to treat you the same exact way, whether you had surgery or not. So nobody is allowed in um, the visiting room, you know, I used to having all these balloons and everybody showing up and yada, yada, yada. That no longer is happening anymore. So you're basically stuck in the hospital for two to three days. I shouldn't say stuck. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, it's for two to three days. And then um, if you have a cesarean, it's five to seven days. And that's when you can see your family. That's when you can um, have um, get-togethers and people can come see the baby. Um, so definitely call your hospital, your local hospital, for each government um, jurisdiction is different because from what I understand the president is allowing each state each governor to mine its own you know city state so um, definitely check up on that where you are um, also I want to tell you this that if you do go into the hospital especially if you're in New York and you are um, going to one of the Presbyterian hospitals um, they're testing everybody. So you coming in, ooh, I'm in labor and my water broke. They like good. Swab, 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 swab. And, <laughs> and you're getting tested automatically because one of their rules. Also, when baby comes out, baby's getting tested. Now, I did call. There is no opt out option. Okay, because some uh, medicines and drops and eye drops you can opt out of your baby having. But this, especially in New York City, the Presbyterian hospitals and all the hospitals that's under the Presbyterian hospital, they are mandatory that all moms get tested, moms to be, and all babies get tested. Um, in some uh, states, moms are getting checked as well as doulas and, and the birth partners, um, the fathers, aunties, whoever you have coming as your one birth partner, remember, they're getting tested um, for just temperature. So if mom has a high temperature, then they might say, let's do the coronavirus. If dad has a high temperature, they'll say, okay, let's give dad the coronavirus test. You know, if doula has a temperature, let's give the doula a test. So they're going based off temperature, whether or not they're going to give you um, the COVID testing or not. Um, if mom 
is positive for the COVID-19 coronavirus, then they will test the baby to see if the baby has it as well. But in some states and jurisdictions, if mom is fine, baby's fine, there's no testing done. I know um, Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles is doing that, where um, if everybody's fine, no temperature, then no worries, they're not doing tests, even like undercover, where you don't know about it until after, which I don't agree about, so I had to follow up myself. But for the New Yorkers and um, downstate New Yorkers, not upstate, hasn't reached us yet, thank goodness. But um, for the downstate um, family down there in New Jersey, um, Maryland, Virginia, I would definitely um, stay on top of what's going on with your hospital. And the hospital staff are very nice. Um, when you do call the maternity ward, you want to call the maternity ward and you want to call the nursery. Because the maternity ward can't answer questions that the nursery will have, and that's what the people who take care of you and the baby after baby's born. So I know this changes up your birth plan. I'm so sorry. Um, that's what erasers and whiteout is all about and delete buttons, you know. But uh, as a doula coming to you as also a mom of six, I, I could feel your pain. You know, I shed a couple of tears from that because I could understand where you're coming from and, and, and how you're feeling at this point. So I still want to give you positive messages of keeping your head up. Still go ahead and write that birth plan. You just have to write it for just one person. Pick a person that you know is going to be right or die throughout. The one that's going to make you comfortable. The one that's going to make you laugh. The one that's going to make you smile. The one that's going to say, girl, it's time to get up and walk this baby out. You know, you need that mojo person. You need that uh, not take it serious if you curse her out or if you scream too loud. She's not looking at you crazy or he's not looking at you crazy. So um, I do shy away from kind of telling moms, oh, yeah, choose the birth, um, the father, the baby, or choose your mom, or choose your aunt, or choose your best friend. No, basically choose who you're comfortable with. Choose who you're comfortable with because that's what's going to help you dilate more because you're more relaxed. So if your muscles, just like when you're in a spa, if you've never been in a spa or a pool, you know, a hot tub or just the bathroom tub, you know, with hot water. Anytime you lay in it, you do one of these. I want somebody that makes you do one of those because that's going to help you down below actually dilate more faster and not be so tight like this where you're so stressed out because the person is not there to actually help you they might just be laying down sleeping for the whole entire time or walking back and forth to the um lunch room or uber eating you know or door dashing or in the hallway you know so you don't want that type of person you want a very attentive person um and that's if you choose someone over um, having a doula make sure they are there if you um, know a mom who's experienced but she got the um, all the skills that I'm telling you about very friendly very nice just kind of brush things off you know she's on a mission she knows what you want she's following your birth plan she's not arguing with your birth plan or he you know because some people might have opinions like you want to do this you don't want those type of people in your birthing room so Definitely, definitely choose wisely on that and also call your local hospital. And this goes not just in the United States where I am, but check all over the world. Anybody who's listening to this, please call your local hospital. Even if you're not due in this month, even if you're due in the summer or due in the fall, I will still stay up on that, definitely. I'm out here walking my dog. My daughter's out here, so if you see my eyes wandering, I'm just keeping track of that and how much time I got on my video. <laughs> so give me a call. If you need to, email me, text me. All my information is on my website at www.bellyosapregnant.com. Talk to you soon. I hope all is well with you and your family. Have a good one. Bye-bye.